Well, hello everyone. We're here and we're going to be reacting to um, a couple. Apparently, another pitch at Hasbro trying to do couples, but we all know how that ends. Um, well, Big Macintosh and all that stuff. So here we have Spyro. You can hello. see Spyro the dragon. Hello. We have Midnight. I'm not that important. <laughs> and we have Flick. King Flick, which is so important that he's put it on the last place. <laughs> <laughs> well, and here's our reaction. Everybody's ready? Alright. <laughs> uh, boom, boom, boom. Alright, are you all on zero? Yeah. yeah. Alright, three, two, one, play. <laughs> And then we'll uh, pause it at two minutes one so that Flick can continue watching. Okay. What do you call an alicorn with no wings and no horn? A bad Earth RC. Pony. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, being an Earth Pony isn't so bad. We've got magic powers too, like walking around. What the frick is this? <laughs> It's good job, shut the fuck up. That's sarcasm, by the way. I think he's the only one laughing. Oh, like li a bum bum. Yeah. It's like a... There's not gonna be Octavia Flake. Like... ...of sediments over millennia forming to create sandstone, shale, and breccia. It sounds something like this. And that's my time. <laughs> Isn't my sister Maud the most hilarious, entertaining, amazing comedian ever? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it either. Oh, I get it. I don't get it. Can't, can't they change the intro, please? They already have. Oh, wait, they changed it? They can uh, change it, just the music is the same. No, they've changed the full intro, there's the Thorax and Ember flying around. Oh, I, well, I mean, like... Um. <laughs> I think there's yeah, an end right after the intro. Oh, and now we have the baby there. Alright. Two minutes. Two minutes, one second! Right. Because Flick has to be special and can't start properly. Fuck off. <laughs> alright, are we all ready? Yeah. Yeah, we're ready. Three, two, one, play. <laughs> your jokes, your hilarious delivery, your, your everything! That was my... timing. <laughs> you got me! Come on, let's celebrate sister stuff! I still don't get it. Okay, for a second there, I thought those, those were duck stickers that she had on her face. Actually, I'm busy yeah, I'm tonight. Aw, that's what you said yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before the day before that. It's just, we haven't hung out in a really long time because you always have other plans. Are they hanging over, right, like, right now? It's got work. I know. I am sorry, Pinky. The reason is I have a Pinky, I, I do the same thing as you. I, I just I just take the whipped cream can and just just eat it. Okay. I love me some whipped cream. Okay. Just you and me. Best sister friends forever. Best sister friends forever. I can't wait for tomorrow to be today. I love her acting. She's got quite so the action. Who's ready for some fun times at Sugar Cube Corner? The answer is you! I would also accept Maud. And she's not gonna be there. Maud? Maud? No. You've been Jake Pinky. Oh, oh, Why are you yeah, Becky so messy? <laughs> Looks perfectly fine to me. How is he? I think he just traumatized that pony. 
Most likely. Also, what name pony? <laughs> Alright, so that's Sonic. Yeah. Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania. Sonic Uh, why would she be with their best friends? Yeah, like Thank Starlight you. was originally starting the main, the next main six with Disco and Trixie. And they like, nah, let's do the school. <laughs> nope, it's just me reading. Story checks out, or does it? It does. But are you sure there's no pony hiding in your closet? Uh. Pinky, I don't have a closet. closet. Is everything okay? Yeah, they, they no, didn't wear clothes. We're supposed to go birthday cake shopping with Maud today. And ruin her surprise party? I wasn't gonna tell her why, silly. But now I can't even find Maud. And <coughs> probably way better hide and seek than this. Well, she probably just found a new rock formation and forgot you two were gonna hang out. Tell you what, you take care of the cake, and I'll look for Maud. Really? Thanks, Starlight! Really? Yes. She, uh, I'm sure she's gonna be in the pot. <laughs> I gotta get very oh, look, it's obsidian in the background. Technically, it's not your Why? Oh, let me, let me just no. take a guess. No, but why does um, she need baking ingredients when she is at a bakery? It closes for lunch. I don't know. <laughs> Exposition. What are you doing anyway? I am currently speaking to a. Goodbye. That's what you've been standing here all this time to say? I was deciding between goodbye and see you later. Uh, but okay, he is worse than mom. Technically, they're very different. I've heard that voice see somewhere before. Implies an event in the near future wherein we oh see each other. Goodbye expresses good wishes where part uh, I don't know what I think. Uh, uh, I'm not rule 34. Yeah, same thing. I will not I'm... apologize for no. speaking with precision. In that case, I'm I don't like him. Goodbye, later, see you, same thing. Oh, uh, you believe that guy? Huh? Go to lunch. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? She was screaming. How annoying was that person? Out to lunch. It takes so long to say goodbye. Or was it, see you later? Uh, now he's got me doing it! So someone has to go, go uh, turn theirs down, because I can hear an oh, echo. Well, I'm you'll sorry, have to turn I'm yours down and listen via the echo because if it's mine, the recording's got to pick up the audio. The reason mm. is, I met some pony. Wanna hang out right now? I mean, I can see you're not doing anything with anybody else. Unless they're invisible or really small. Pinky, the reason I've been so busy is that I have a boyfriend now. A what? It's obsidian. A boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Boyfriend. I'm gonna slap you. Wait, are they finally addressing the word boyfriend and not just special some pony or something? So you were into mouth, so everything goes well. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. I am in the mod. Oh my god. <laughs> It's the fucking, it's the OC, isn't it? Yes. It probably is. I really want to know who voiced him, because I've heard that voice before, and I'm pretty sure it's a YouTuber. The, 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 do they really think it's a rock, please? Technically, not anymore. 
I knew it. <laughs> I freaking knew it. Well, you even got the Hasbro to make your own seat. We've already met. You? This is driving me mad. You know this is gonna drive yes. me mad for the next like yes. fifteen minutes because I swear I've heard him before and I'm pretty sure he's a YouTuber. It's driving me mad because they're yes. making like the yes. most it's weird couple. I know. <laughs> so, how did you two meet? At a rock show. Oh, you're into rocks too? No, I like sticks. Then why were you at a rock sticks show? Sticks and stones, mate. Oh, I get it. Oh. Which I get technically it, but it's makes a stick show. <laughs> it is a bad, <laughs> it is a bad joke. The process of petrification. All organic material is replaced with silicates, i.e. rocks. While retaining yeah, she's, the original she's smiling, all right. elements of wood, QED, it was a stick show. Hasbro, don't pretend you even know what QED means. Pinky. Oh, so she likes stick stuff? It is stick abuse. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know why. Um, I, I, just, I don't really like this pony very much. <laughs> no, but of course, of course, because QED, which uh, we definitely know that it definitely stands for Quad Error Demonstrandum. No. 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 Twiggy. Adorable. Just a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One more time. I'm Pinkie Pie. Nice to meet you. Technically, we've already met. Why is she like? <laughs> I don't get. Oh I don't get you. Yeah. That's, the... that's the face. Yeah, there's the face. All right. Mon has a boyfriend. <laughs> Isn't that an inanimate object for a pet? So does Mod. Boulder has ten times the personality of some random stick. Oh my gosh, I'm weird. That's what I'm not like Mod at all. Wait, wasn't the point of like the last season's season episode with Mod that Pinky learned that being different and weird was okay? Yeah. Then what's the point of this? I I wouldn't be able to tell you, Moon. <laughs> because this is the uh, this is basically the bullshit filler episode while we get the kids settled into the school. Like next, like next week when we uh, go back to the school, they'll have had a whole semester, they'll have done a whole set of tests. They'll be living there. It'll all be like the sunshine and roses. Like we've been here for weeks. We're just we're currently doing uh, what? What's it fucking called? Um, uh, uh, Naruto? No. What? What do you call it when you're like at the first week of college and you got to find your dorm and shit? Oh uh, shit! No. It's like intern. It's like intern week or something. Oh, initiation? Yeah. Oh, look, it's it's a uh, grilled cheese. I love the fake cheese. The speleothems growing from the ceiling. Cheese sandwich. That one. Maud taught me that. Yeah. This guy's voice is is literally going to drive me nuts. Might I make some suggestions? Everything Mod loves, and none of those things are on it. Let me see this yeah, vision board. Yeah, I think it's not a So we, uh, where, where'd you get the Tony Stark holograms from? <laughs> Just as I thought. 
No, it's, uh, what's Dexter or whatever his name is? He's magical or something. He's Rain Man. He's, he's got the numbers in his head. Most likely. No, he's, uh, he's Sherlock. That was him going into his mind palace, like Sherlock. Yeah. Can you be more specific? No! Oh, look, another kite. Huh. Kite flying. must be Mudbriar. Interesting. I'm Starlight Glimmer. Nice to meet you. I've heard great things. I'm so glad the two of you are spending time together. So, how's it going? Mudbriar and I have just spent the best time bonding! And we're really starting to make some headway, becoming besties, except for one teensy-weensy disagreement that maybe you could settle, Mod. See, Mudbriar here seems to think that neither of them likes the prize. Was she even party. holding I the kite when, when it was the top-down perspective? Party. Because if not, then how's it being, like, but held to the ground? Because Starlight's on. Uh, she's, she's, she's holding it. She's holding it. I have no idea. I'd rather just do something small with you, Starlight, Boulder. And Mudbriar for my birthday. Maybe you should consider, I don't know, taking things a little less serious with Mudbriar because he's kinda sorta impossible to like. Hey! What the frick with her? Ever flown a kite? <laughs> Let me tell you all about it. See, the first thing you should do is I just can't believe you would choose sitting around with him over a party with your own sister! I didn't choose either of you. Technically, I said I wanted to be with both of you. <gasps> Technically? Oh, even like the way he talks? Um, um, Everything about him makes me happy. <gasps> then, I guess you don't need a best sister friend forever anymore. Really? They're going to that path. Pinky. Oh, wait. Uh, haven't we done this plot line before? Yeah, but we're we're eight seasons in. Like we've got nothing. Like can you just can you just you like later. stop questioning and wait for generation five? Also the kites were standing there like nothing. Yeah. Oh she's on the bridge, she's gonna jump. I jump. What the f Oh my god. Why? Why? Why she All I can see is because she's standing on the bridge. That's out of the angle. Yeah. Yes. Now Rainbow Dash! Roll Pinky into the canal! Kill her, yes! What the f? This oh. show is getting to. Roll Pinky! End her life, yes! <laughs> Why? Wait, why is she back in the rock farm? Get out of bed, sis. If you're gonna be here, you gotta Isn't it like quite far away? Yeah. Did she run all night? Oh, look, it's my... Oh, what is that, Pony? Let's talk in more farming. It's just... She's a grief in this case. I'm not jealous. Who said anything about jealous? Don't be. Super weird! And somehow he tricked Mon into liking him, and now I'll never get to see her again! I came home because you two know her better than any pony. What am I missing? What did she see in him? What did he have that I don't? <laughs> I would say, but it's not good to You look as miserable as I feel all the time. <laughs> Aren't they like the same? Ugh, uh, fine. We're taking a work break. Come on. Let's give that that butter shy just in pony forms. I'm looking at a sparkling bright blue and white rock. See it? You mean that lumpy gray one? No, the beautiful blue and white one. Right there. I would not describe that as beautiful blue or white, but <laughs> okay. Show her. It's a geode. The outside 
particular rock, but the inside is filled with beautiful gems. Again with this lesson. <laughs> 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 It's a metaphor, Pinky. You see Mudfire as a rock, but Mod sees him as a gem. It's a metaphor, Pinky. What we've been using for the last eight seasons, and we have to reuse them. Sister, that's all that matters. Even if you already learned that lesson on like the last season. Mm -hmm. You would have jumped up that bridge. Roll, Pinky! End her life, yes! <laughs> you already made that joke, Spiral. <laughs> Aww. No magic. Hey, the sex, yes? <laughs> I brought you an olive branch to say sorry. It was really unfair to you, and I'm ready to listen to your ideas for my birthday. <laughs> if you still want to plan it together. Technically, this isn't even an olive branch. It's a quercus, most likely Castinia folia. Oh, come on! Don't be a dick. <laughs> and I love a good quercus. Friends? Friends! Now! Do you have any ideas? Why was he waiting to do that? Um, okay. Well, because 22 minutes, we gotta fill the space somehow. Also, oh, I was, also by the way, I'm just gonna stop everybody here. You completely contradicted yourself because you wanted like... Oh, oh look, Paper Mario. Man, color spice looks great. <laughs> She was not invited, I see. Wait, they didn't even invite, like, the school. The thing is, she probably is, like, because Twilight and Rainbow Dash and everybody are all at that party, so if they're at that party, who's watching the school? Technically... <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go to go to music class with Tavia. Right, what's his bloody name? I need to look this shit up. I don't know what this episode. Pink by Mud Briar, Adam Kirsten. I'm pretty sure really? this guy is bloody bad. Right. This episode was boring. Just like my self-esteem. <laughs> Adam Kerr, I'll just spell his name. But you were in there at midnight. Yeah, I know. Kerr, shh, what a fucking name. K I R. K I R. S C H. S C H. N E R. N E R. Adam Kirshner. Internal movie database. Where have I heard your voice? What are you? What are you in? Uh, okay. Well, that's just answered my own fucking question right there. Where is he? From where is he? <laughs> he is in Dead Rising Four. Oh. Oh. Shit. You know, that that one that. Uh, Turn <laughs> cheat codes like big head mode and flat mode into paid DLC. Oh, oh. oh no. You're in there. So, wait, what? What? The voice actor of the stick pony was in Dead Rising 4, which was kind of mediocre and a lot of people hated it. Well, I guess you gotta get work somehow, dude. Yeah. Okay, well, what did you guys think about? Nah. Well, as I say, we know they're just killing time for, for, uh, for school episodes. For school episodes. What can we put on here? For me, it was literally obsidian. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. I mean, I, I can see the similarities. 
yes, in the face, expression, in the looks, and even in the talk. I'm just gonna say this is another case where Hasbro doesn't know how to do couples. Hmm. I mean, don't, don't, don't like, take it personal. <laughs> and I think your mod would be okay, but... <laughs> but the episode itself, for like, introducing a couple and doing stuff... Mm -hmm. I, don't I, don't think I don't know which one's worse, this one or... or... Big Mac and the other one. What was her name? The Hi. Sugar Bell. Sugar Bell. <laughs> So that one at least was kind of funny, but then it got like really awkward. I'm just not a fan of the, the, the whole couple as a whole, really. Yeah, it's out of the blue. Someday out of the blue. <laughs> in oh, a no. That's music from Rod Zelda. Yeah. Well, um, well, I, mean, well I guess I really don't have anything to add. Like, there's a few things <laughs> that I cracked a joke at and took the piss out of, but I mean, there, there isn't even anything really piss worthy. Like, you know, last last episode we had the the new kids that you could really take the piss out of. Oh. Professor Snape was uh, memeing all over the place with things like the Greater Good. This one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's going to return, by the way. Yeah, but I mean, like this one. <laughs> got, got, this one just got got an filler. Oh, how do you know he will return? Was he turned good? They already said that he's going to return. Gee, I wonder episode. what would make a bad guy return. A evil, pissed off <laughs> dude swearing vengeance and then disappearing before anybody could catch him. I wonder if he's good. Everyone and their mothers. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to come back as a villain after swearing <laughs> vengeance. Wait, he, he, he did swear vengeance. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna get you. Like, like, like at this point, the, like, the synopsis of, of all the season is already out. So if, if, you, if you wanna read it, it's already out. No, no, I don't want to read it. No, but I'm saying, like... Burp, listen to me. If he won't to be turned into a big guy, he will be destroyed like Sombra. <laughs> Chrysalis only managed to survive because he, she sacrificed her entire kingdom. She, she led them to mosquitoes. That's the situation. <laughs> yeah, that's. Also, the point. it makes me wonder if they looking for chrysalis, like, can they just ask this guy, like, can you, you know, snap fingers and get, get her, her in here? No, because that would be too easy. Why, why do you think this score is not in the My Little Pony movie? Uh, for the jokes? No, because he would have just like snapped his fingers and resolved it all. He's like, no, deal with your own problems. No, because that would be like Dragon Ball Super. And they're not doing that. They're just eliminating characters so that you can't use them. Ah, I guess that sums it up. This season is looking pretty man now. Like the start, like the last episodes were at least funny and had some jokes in there, but this one is just like... Yeah, like that. <laughs> Perfect timing then. But, um... Yeah, yeah, that's what we think. So, uh, don't forget to leave your thoughts on the comments on this episode. Uh, we'll be doing more reactions to the next episodes, hopefully. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Hmm? <laughs> Who loved it? You. Me? No, I say it was not the. A good couple episode. I say the episode was bad because there there were a slow Octavia in the background. <laughs> I always look for Octavia. You no, know, they added Derpy, they added Lyra, Bon Bon. So, oh, why should we add Octavia? Why should we make him happy? 
about, about the perfect, perfect, um, perfect, perfect joke, joke to um, sign off. off. Okay. Okay. Have, Have a rockin', rockin time, time, everyone. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurts. <laughs> it just hurts. Well, we had a, we have a rocking time, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Say bye, bye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>